Pembrokeshire coast isn't lined with high-rise hotels, hamburger joints or amusement arcades. This village doesn't even have a pub or a shop, but it does have some very pretty cottages. Renting one is the best way to enjoy country life at your own pace. It's like moving into a second home for the week. All the cottages are well equipped with essentials, but it's the extra touches that make them feel lived in. This one was owned by a cart maker. Some of his handiwork seems to be holding up the ceiling. Let me lead you up the garden path, and we'll find one of rather more majestic proportions, all 168 miles of the Pembrokeshire Coastal Path. To go the full distance might be a bit daunting, but it would be a mistake not to make a few footprints on this National Park walkway. You don't need a rope and crampons, sturdy shoes are enough. Scattered along the coast are 50 prehistoric burial sites called Cromlechs. Legend has it that if you place a cake, yes, a cake, on the stones and circle them three times, the man of your dreams will appear. Oh, this isn't going to work, you know. I forgot the cake. Sorry, Daisy, you're not quite my type. I'll try some cheese made from your milk, though. The reason we weigh in the curd now is to know exactly how much salt to put into the curd, having milled it. There's no charge to watch the Clan Glove and Dairy at work. And if you wait long enough, you can see every process that turns the milk to cheese. Sometimes a wife comes down, takes a piece of curd like this, and she can make it into a, a curd cake. And she makes the cake in a pastry base, and it's mixed with sultanas and spices. And we just have it as sweet in the evening, with thick Jersey cream on top. It's delicious. We live ever so simply down here. <laughs> You can have a taste of that simple life yourself. They sell wonderful homemade ice cream in the farm shop. Or, of course, there's cheese. Hello, hello. This all looks good. Why not try some? That's a very good idea, thank you. Mmm, that's very good. I think I'm going to have to buy some, actually. Right. There are all sorts, some from other local farms. I went for a whole Clangloven cheese for eight pounds. I couldn't resist it. The Cathedral of St David's was built in a hollow, hidden from the sea and the greedy eyes of plundering pirates. In the 12th century, the craftsmen who built the cathedral weren't completely convinced about Christianity, so they added a few pagan symbols just to keep all the gods happy. Pilgrims flocked here in the Middle Ages because the Pope said that just two visits to see the relics of St David were as good, spiritually, as going all the way to Rome. Now, isn't that convenient when you're staying in a little cottage just up the road? I think I'll come back tomorrow. Perhaps I'll make it to the beach instead. Pembrokeshire has one around almost every corner. You can choose between coves with caves and rock pools or great stretches of perfect sand, like Newgale Beach. There's two miles of it. And that means there's plenty of room for everyone. Fourteen pounds buys you a horse for the morning, and how better to cool off after a cross-country hack than with a splash through the surf. What's good for four legs has to be good for two. The Gulf Stream warms what's already one of the sunniest spots in Britain, and the gently shelving beaches make for safe swimming. Who needs the med? For a whole day out on the sea, you can take a boat trip down the coast or to one of the nearby islands, or pay for some luxury and charter a yacht like this. £100 a day for up to eight people. The 
cliffs of Skoma are alive with thousands of birds. The island's a bird sanctuary, 67 varieties including the distinctive and rather lovable puffin. If you've cooked just one hot dinner too many, give yourself a real holiday by booking a takeaway chef. Hello. Hello. That looks good. You make the order the day before and everything arrives ready for heating. There's a choice to suit every taste and pocket. Most of it is local, fish, fruit, lamb, or fresh seafood caught just down the coast. And even the wine is Welsh. Cheers. Mm -hmm.